Today, I was at a small party with a few friends when my bestie ran up to me and said, What are you doing in here? Um, I'm not feeling good. No, don't you understand? Jimmy is literally in the other room. He's here? Yeah, he is. Oh my god. I know, right? I didn't know he knew anybody here. He knows me. And I heard he totally wants to bang you. Really? Yeah, don't you're gonna need this, some liquid courage. You can do this though. Yes, you can. I believe in you. This will get Yes, you can do it. Welcome to Chicago, feels so good to be home. I just wanna be the only one. After a few drinks, I found him sitting on the couch. I went out in the garage and changed my oil the last time I took it some places to get my oil changed. Yeah, I think So. This time I tried to. <laughs> had to ratchet it up on the drain plug. Being a little drunk and flirtatious. Oh, yeah. You know about cars? I have all. I sat yeah. on his lap. This is happening. He seemed to be enjoying himself, as was I. Until my stomach began to rumble as the burrito barn I ate earlier slowly worked its way through me. We seemed to be having a great conversation. I wish I was listening to. But I can't, because it's taking all of my concentration to keep this rumbling inside. I can't get off either, because the slightest movement could release the stink. So I sat there and continued to nod and smile, which he seemed to notice when he asked me a question and I didn't answer. He asked me again, and I just couldn't hold it anymore. I uttered, I'm so sorry, before releasing the nastiest, most disgusting work of flatulence right square on his lap. To make matters worse, I slid off his knee and onto the floor, leaving a large brown streak on his pants. F*** my life. Dude, she even shed a couch. Oh! You think she's all right? Who cares? She shit on the couch. And you. I think I'm gonna go check on her. Hey, just wanted to see if you're all right. Aaron, I see you now you work. Like you're washing your ass off. Okay, it is what it looks like.